Okay everyone, it's Michael Stewart here with a tutorial on how to use Corel PaintShop Pro X4. I have finally decided to you know, start a tutorial series on graphic design whereby persons can watch some of my videos and learn how to create business cards, posters, flyers, labels and things like those. Um, retouch photos and stuff like that so here we have it Corel Paint Shop Pro this is what you see when you open the software um, a bit about Corel Paint Shop Pro before we get into it Corel Paint Shop Pro is um, a graphic design software um, it's very very similar to Photoshop in terms of what you can do with it and in terms of um, interface um, I have Photoshop this is Photoshop CS5 open here and if you should compare both softwares you would realize that they are very similar in terms of where things are located um, the different um, options that are available and so forth let's take a look at the user interface of this software okay here we have our file menu where you find different options such as new this is where you would come to um, start a new document start working on a new project you have open you can open different files that are compatible you go to recent files and you know you would see stuff that you have been recently working on so it's a typical file menu so you go here to export import and stuff like that here you have the edit menu cut and paste special copy special paste and so on view you know quite a bit of um options here but the ones that I find myself using most often is the image and adjust and effects and yes file because we always have to go to file to save and to do some of the typical stuff so you can explore those by yourself to your left hand side you have um, the different tools you have the pan tool the pick tool magic wand um, and so on there are many tools here these are pretty much your hand in the software our hands if um, for want of a better term and to your right hand side you have your materials on this side you would select your colors you would see the different layers that you're working on and so on all of these terms might sound um, unfamiliar to persons who have never um, done graphic design before but as we go along you will learn so let's start working on a new thing just to demonstrate how some of these things work so to open a new um, document you go to file new and this um, little dialog box will appear here you set the settings for your page such as the, the, the size of the page and the resolution um, say for example you were to work on a letter size sheet the width of that would be 8.5 by 11 inches and you have different you can change the units of measurement to ones that you understand more or you're more familiar with so I prefer working in inches I always leave my resolution at 300 for most work for most work I leave it at 300 and click OK so there we have our letter size to zoom in and out like this I'm simply rolling the mouse ball it's easier to me you can also use these but you know you have to do multiple clicks to get the desired um, zoom so again you have the pan tool the pick tool that you would normally use to select things and move it around you have the selection tool and the magic wand and so on these tools are very helpful they 
dropper tool, the straighten tool, red eye tool. You use this to remove red eyes and do makeovers for people when doing retouching. You have the clown brush, the scratch remover, object remover. So if you notice, there are some tools that have um, this little down arrow beside it. It means that they are there is an additional uh, menu with more options for that particular tool the ones that don't means that what you see here is what you get these are the only options available you have the text tool you use this to add text I'm not seeing the text that's because the fill is white and we have a white background here but if I should change that to black you know see that text on the screen here all right um, so to change the color again you simply with the text tool selected simply click in between the text and you can highlight all of it or you could press control all control a sorry to select all and this is the the stroke color which represents the line that goes around the text and the fill color which is the inside part of the text so the fill color is red no and voila so when you left click it controls this um, palette here and when you right click controls this palette here so if I left click on this blue here this palette would change to blue if I right click on this palette here uh, say the black one the black the right this color palette that represents a fill would change all right um, I'm trying my best but you know so anyways that's pretty much it um, for these tools here so as I said, you will find yourself using the adjust effects and um, perhaps image menus a lot. So the adjust allows you to, to change many things about an image, say especially for those who are into um, photography. After you have taken an image and you want to enhance perhaps the colors you want to you know let it become more colorized or a bit more saturated in other words enhance the color make the colors pop um you can go to here you can brighten images here um you can add blurs to image make an image look blurry or perhaps give it a depth of feel that's um, a blurred background and so on so as we go along you will learn how to use these tools good enough um, you have the effects tool and you add, use this to add some nice little effects you want to give um, a page a texture all right let's let's explore that one so what I'm going to do I'm going to delete this text these are your layers by the way it's very important to understand these but as we go along as you will learn about these um, so select our flood fill tool here we want a green a blue background so we click the blue color and left click so this fill, um, flood fill tool is like you have a bucket of paint and you're throwing it on a piece of paper. If I wanted it yellow, click yellow and throw my bucket of paint on my paper. So I have a yellow paper now. So go back to your, <coughs> your pick tool to select the page and you now see these, um, these, what would you call these now? These squares they allow you to adjust um, anything that you have selected so if you want to resize an image you could use this to resize the image so that it fits on your page um, so what with that selected I'm going to go to the effects 
um, texture effects and go into texture and if you look closely you'll realize that there's some texture being added All right, let me increase the size of the texture so it, they become more visible and perhaps the depth ah well wow. so you pretty much can add nice textures to different things and to change the, the texture you simply click here and there are myriad of options so you just select one that you like to ensure that you're seeing um, the, the changes on the, the image you ensure that you have this box um, ensure that this box is checked preview on image if it's unchecked you won't be able to see it here but you would be able to see it here the before and after but I don't like seeing it there you can leave it like that but I, I don't like I prefer to see it on the image that I'm working on I always keep this checked for almost everything so if I like it I would simply click OK and I have my new textured um, background new textured yellow background so that's how that works so in the effects there are other effects that you can play around with and um, get familiar with alright so that will be all for now by the way to download this Corel Paint Shop Pro you can get the trial version just simply type Corel Paint Shop Pro X4 into Google and this website will come up and it allows you to download the trial version for 30 days and I think 30 days is enough for you to 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 learn how to use the software if you follow these tutorials okay see you in the next one